Hello guys. The logo is a little bit pixelized, but uh, it's the same product. Nice to be, I'm really glad to be with you. Thank you. Yeah, forget gas fees. Enjoy web free. I, I will start uh, as I used to start. I'm uh, sorry. I go back in the past. I'm 50, 51 years old in a few months, two months now. And I'm uh, contributing to build the web with uh, modesty since uh, 30 years. In Web3, we aim, we claim, we spread all around that we are building the future of the web. Since years, uh, since 2015, involved in what we call at this time the blockchain, then decentralization, now we call it Web3. I was telling in again and again, guys, uh, I, I really do, don't think we will be able to reach this mass adoption. We are talking about again and again and again, like we are waiting for Godot. Look, it's around the corner. Do you see mass adoption? Still not. For a simple reason, it's not about a missing piece of technology. It's not a roof on top of the roof on top of the roof we are missing. It's simply as it is always, as it always have been in any innovation, a question of cost, cost acquisition. At the beginning of uh, the web, we were paying for any interaction. Could you imagine today having to pay for any click you make on the web page, any message you send, any any time you search on Google? It's what we propose now in Web3 to people. You have to pay transaction fees. And even worse, if you do two times the same thing, it will not be the same cost. So we come with a simple solution, a layer one, fully EVM compatible, improved by a DAG based proof of stake protocol. In its final version, we will reach more than 850,000 TPS. This is for the infrastructure part. With a native subscription based model, we have a dual transaction flow. We keep the pay as you go like it is on all blockchain. If time to time you interact, it could be. But if we want to engage people to use web free dApps, the blockchain innovation, like we use the web clicking all day long, we have to introduce a new business model. Here comes the subscription based model for uh, end users, the time for end users. It's, uh, it starts uh, basic tier one dollar per month up to 30 transactions per day, you just forget gas fees, it's magic. For dApps, it's what we call account abstraction next generation. Why an exchange? Simply because it's predictable and stable cost. And for businesses, it's pretty simple. It's like consuming any API. You have a quota, you have a price, you pay the same month to month. If you need more, you upgrade. If you need less, you don't grade. For this, we have built on top of Artera our own subscription management platform. In a few minutes, any project deployed on Artera can create its own subscription model. Maybe a freemium version, a paid one. You include gas quota, a number of transactions, and then you can offer a frictionless, gasless experience to your users and start to implement the most successful business model in the web industry ever, the subscription based one. It's not enough, we have also built our own decentralized MPC smart wallet. When you combine the smart wallet, you create your uh, account, a wallet behind with uh, your email, social logging, with a subscription based model, then you can imagine brand new, real, sustainable use case. Imagine a decentralized mail, each email on chain, like Gmail, Proton, a free version, a paid one. 
you pay it in fiat, you pay it in crypto. It's up to you. It's live. It's not working. Yes, it is. This is the market potential. Our uh, society is uh, becoming uh, more and more subscription based. I, I will uh, let you imagine. We, we are live since two months. Not alone, with uh, more than 100 uh, projects joining, and more than 40% of them want to introduce a subscription based model. Opportunity, guys, uh, private B round open for a few days. It's uh, never uh, too late to be early. Welcome. This is Web3 2.0.